In this video, we will learn how to recognize and expand the pattern, what is a variable and how they are used. Everywhere in our surrounding, we see different patterns, such as pattern of leaves, pattern of bricks, pattern of floor, patterns of geometrical shapes, patterns of stars, and many more. Every pattern is based on some rule. So, Let's make some patterns with these matchsticks. Here, we will create the pattern of triangle. First, we will create a triangle with matchsticks. Here, how many matchsticks we have used? 3. Now, if we want to make two triangles, how many matchsticks will be required? For two triangles, six matchsticks will be required. In the same way, for 3 triangles, 9 matchsticks will be required. For 4 triangles, 12 matchsticks. And for 5 triangles, 15 matchsticks will be required. Look at the number of triangles written in the table and the number of necessary matchsticks for them. Can you establish any relationship between them? By looking carefully, you will notice that the number of matchsticks is three times the number of triangles. With this understanding, the rule for the pattern of triangles can be given as number of matchsticks required is equal to 3 multiplied by number of triangles. Here, the number of triangles can be 1, 2, 3 or any natural number. It means the value of number of triangles is not fixed. It can change, that is, it can vary. Such a number whose value is not fixed or steady is called a variable. For our convenience, we can use the letter of English language such as A, B, C and so on in the place of such a number. For example, here instead of number of triangles, we will use letter X. Like the number of triangles, variable x can also take values 1, 2, 3 or any other natural number. In this way, for x triangles in the pattern, number of matchsticks required will be 3 multiplied by x. It is written briefly 3x. With the use of variable x, we have written the general rule for the pattern of triangles. Now, let's understand how variables are used to denote a known quantity. On her birthday, Madhu wants to distribute chocolates in the classroom. She wants to give two chocolates to every student. If the number of students are expressed by variable x, then what will be the required number of chocolates? Madhu must have chocolates twice the number of students. That means if the number of students will be x, then Number of chocolate required will be 2x. Now, let's understand how variable help us to express mathematical rules and formulas in general way. Perimeter of the square. The perimeter of the square is sum of lengths of all its sides. If we use the variable L for the length of the side and variable P for the perimeter, then the perimeter of the square can be expressed as P is equal to 4 multiplied by L or 4L. In this way, you must have understood what is a variable and how variables are used to generalize the rules and formulas. In the next video, we will understand some examples related to variables and further explore the concept of variables. Thank you.